Hello. 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 Hi, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for your concern. This call is regarding for your free additional Medicare benefit at no cost. Once you receive this benefit, you don't have to pay your co-pays to your doctor, to your specialist, and to your medicine. You're going to get some cash back as well and transportation as well. So do you have any power of attorney? I have all the power in the world. Um, what uh, what company are you calling with if I'm getting all these free Medicare uh, Medicare things? From healthcare, from healthcare, sir. Healthcare? From healthcare. Healthcare. Yes. The name of your company is Healthcare. That sounds totally made up. Are you sure that's the name of your company? Exactly, sir. Healthcare. Healthcare services, sir. Oh, healthcare services. You didn't say that. Uh, where are you located? In Florida. We're in Florida. Florida's a big state. In Miami. In Miami, Florida. So if we look up healthcare services in Miami, Florida, then we'll find uh, on the internet. Will we be able to find this company? Sure. Well, let's okay. do it. You and me do it together. Healthcare services in Miami, Florida. Uh, hi. This is David. How are you doing? Um, good, David. How are you? I'm okay. Well, this call is about Medicare, so are you on Medicare A and B? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, who you, who are you calling with? Uh, what's the name of your company you're working for? Well, we are an independent insurance agency, and we do work with the top 20 airworthy carriers. Okay. What's the name of this uh, like insurance agency? Medicare Supplement Care. We are an independent agency. Medicare Supplement Care? What? Right. Okay, that sounds completely made up to me. Could we Google that together, you and me? What do you mean? I mean, Google it. I mean, it just sounds like a made-up company name. There's a lot of scammers out there, you know. I'd be happy to talk to you, but I think we need to jump online and just make sure. What What did you say the name of the company was again? I'll just Google it right now. All right, I just, I just told you. Yeah, well, I, I told you twice. No, you didn't. You only told me once. <laughs> yeah these guys are just there's just no way these guys are working for some kind of legitimate company it's just ridiculous meet george the hard worker his tail's a tearjerker his hurry worry life just as may's his poor wife all the hustle and bustle the work a day tussle He's a miserable sight when he comes home each night. His nerves all a jangle, all ready to wrangle. His stomach upset, but she's ready. You bet. It's time for Pepto Bismol. Time for hospital tested Pepto Bismol. For upset stomach, Pepto Bismol is America's leading remedy. Here's why: no soda, no alkalizer works like Pepto Bismol. So when upset stomach strikes, take soothing Pepto Bismol and feel good. Again. Hi, this is David Richard. How are you doing today? David Wichard? I'm good. How are you, David uh, Wichard? Uh, I, I'm doing good, sir. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, well, this is a follow-up call. You had a conversation with one of my associates regarding final expense policy. Do you remember that? I've had several uh, conversations with people lately about final expense policies. What company are you calling from there? Uh, what did you say your name was, Witcher? Uh, I'm an insurance broker who is working with more than 36 insurance carriers all over the state. Uh, let me tell you. So we are offering you the life insurance. That means this life insurance covers 100% of funeral, burial, and cremation expenses. Okay. So let me ask. If you get qualified for the best plans available in your set, set, so this plan is going to be for you or any one of your loved ones, like your spouse, son, or daughter. Uh, I didn't catch all of that there, dude, but, uh, yeah, see, my kids are in prison, and my wife tried to kill me with the car, so this, I would just be getting this for myself. This is yourself, right? Yeah. That's great. So now before I go over the state approved plans that you qualify for, I would like to briefly introduce myself to you first, like who I am, okay. what I do, and all that is, yes. 
Ya. Yeah. And all the discounts and benefits that you qualify for. Then you can tell me what to do next, all right? Oh, that sounds like a good idea. What did you say your name was again? David. David. Yes, my oh. name is David and I am the state license benefit coordinator for the state. That means that I am the decision maker who will help you to identify plan, uh, which plan you qualify for. In the meanwhile, if you have any question or concern about anything, you can feel free to ask me and I will be more than happy, okay? Okay, well, it sounds like you're the, the uh, big cheese, the top dog in the state uh, with the state, uh, state everything. That's great. In the state. What do so, we do? So, so now there are five incentive best discounts that I would be with you before we get started. There's so five far, what? Five what? Are you... Are you the decision maker for yourself? Yeah, it's funny that you'd ask that because I just asked my old lady Trixie about this last week and she tells me that I still make all of my own decisions. Okay, how old are you? Well, I'm 66. 66, okay. No, and no. if you like this final expense policy, what? And this one is going to be the. F if you like this final expense insurance policy, then this one is going to be your first policy or an additional policy. Well, this would be the first one, Davey. First one, that's a great start. And last but not least, you have a checking account or a saving account? Yeah, I have one of each. I am sorry? I have one of each. I have both a checking and a savings account. You have a checking or a saving account? That's right. Now you perfectly qualify for some additional discounts as well. Oh. Now I will explain to you a little bit about our policy here, like how it works and everything, okay? Howardsburg? Now these state approved insurance plans are perfectly designed to cover 100% of burial and cremation expenses. Yeah. And are, are usually paid out within 24 to 48 hours of notification. Okay. I'm not like those conventional insurance agents who are working with, uh, working for a specific companies. I am actually trying to show you the you the best carriers and the lowest rates available in the marketplace. Oh. So we both can choose together that which plan is the best fit for you, all right? Together? Okay. Now, if you don't mind, we ask if you have ever experienced any close family member or a friend passing away and you had to deal with the final arrangements? Well, I didn't have to deal with the final arrangements, no, but certainly, you know, we've, we've all had friends pass away. Uh, you know, usually they just wander off out in the woods, though. You know, they wander off out in the woods and they get lost or, you know, disappeared or something. And then we just all go down to Sloopy's and drink beer and eat chicken wings and whatnot and talk about the whole experience. So there's really not ever been much of a, you know, a funeral, per se, for these kinds of people. Okay. Uh, now let me ask you this. Most of the people use this cover for three reasons. What? Burial, cremation... Oh. Now let me let me ask you this most of the people use this cover for three reasons. Burial, cremation and death. If they want to leave something for their loved ones. All right. So which cover suits you? Well, how much does it cost for uh, for a funeral and how much does it cost for a cremation? So it depends on your health condition. Health condition? Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, being being on the same page, we will be able to assist better according to your needs and affordability. And our process is going to be very simple. I am going to ask you some health question in order to qualify you. Uh, now, order in order to qualify for all the discounts, let me ask you this: Are you a smoker or a non-smoker? I'm a non-smoker, Dewi. Oh, that's great, sir. Uh, what kind of medication, medical conditions are you facing right now? Well, I don't really know. Uh, I had organ failure a while back. I have a, I have an, a Hammond organ and a, and a Leslie speaker, and the tone wheel was locked up on the Hammond, but that's been oiled and fixed, so I'm not having issues there with the organ failure. Um, and other than that, I think I'm suffering from conculism because I used to get hit in the head a lot when I was a kid, but I don't know that that affects me a lot today. I mean, I still get around all right. I get lost in traffic, you know, so, you know a little bit, but... I always get where I'm going. <laughs> Dewey didn't want to talk to me anymore. <laughs> and now, 
Here comes Big Bruiser with light flashing. There's the wreck. That Big Bruiser up to it. This lever puts the power winds into action. And Big Bruiser does it again. Comes with jack, tools, fender, and spare tire to repair the wreck. Pickup truck included, too. Get battery-powered Big Bruiser by Marks. Hello. What a good morning. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm good. How are you? Well, I'm doing good. So this is Moses, and I believe you have Medicare with Part A and Part B, right? Uh, that's right, Moses. I do. Okay, so you may be eligible for additional Medicare benefits in 2024. So, so do you have any type of disease or Parkinson? Well, not that I'm aware of. Uh, I don't think when you have Parkinson's, you don't know that you have it. But I don't. No one said anything to me about it. So I don't think so. Okay. Do you have Do you something have on your screen? Is your system showing something that I've got Parkinson's or something? There's something wrong? No, sir. Okay. Actually, we have just qualifying questions. So you don't have any type of disease or Parkinson, right, sir? Well, I don't think so. Uh, like, if you have something on your system, I'd like to know about it, though. Uh, what did you say your name was again there? Moses. And just to make sure, yes. you've, you've got my name correctly, don't you? I'd hate to think you were looking at the system with somebody else's uh, medical history. No, sir. I see your name is Duck and your last name is Aisha Range, right? The, my first name is Duck and the last name is yes. La, it's LaRange. Okay, your S is silent, that means, right? Uh, it's the, it's the, no, there's no S. It's Duck LaRange. L apostrophe O R A N G E. Okay, and I see your date of birth is 1957. Four one, right? April first of uh, nineteen hundred and fifty-seven is right. Yeah. Yeah, and your five-digit zip code is six zero six zero four, right? That's right, Moses. You got it. Okay, sir. So, do you have any type of Tricare or VA benefits, like military or army? Uh, I don't have a military or army or any benefits or anything like that at all. No. Okay, that's great. So, sir. Do you have, since you have Medicare with A and B, I'm sure you might be having a Medicare card as well, right? I got a card as well somewhere, yeah. Okay, a red, white, and blue color card, right, sir? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so I see you take your own decisions or you have the power of attorney. Well, it's funny that you would uh, ask that question, Moses, because uh, just last week, I asked my old lady Trixie, uh, and she tells me uh, that I make all my own decisions, so I, I don't have a power of attorney or anything like that, no. Oh, okay, that's great, sir. That's all I need. I do have your first name as Duck, your last name as Aisha Orange, and your five-digit zip code is 60604, right, sir? The first name is Duck. My last name is pronounced Larange with an L. L Lerange. as in Larange. Duck Larange. So it's Duck French. So yeah. sorry, sir. No, yeah. it's quite right. It's Duck French. Lorange, right? Yeah. Yeah. And your mailing address that you use is 230S Durban St. Inn, right, sir? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So I that's all I need. I have my verification officer on the line who will get you connected to the licensed agent in your state of Wisconsin to get you all the Medicaid benefits in 2024, Moses, okay, sir? Moses, I'm not in Wisconsin. I'm in Illinois. I'm, oh, I used to live in Wisconsin, but uh, my my ex-wife, she tried to kill me by running me over with the car again, uh, along with her attorney who was spotting traffic. And um, I had to move out of the house then, and, and I live now down in Chicago. Okay, that's not a problem. So I have my verification officer, so I will hand over the call to him. He will get you connected to my licensed agent, okay? Okay, that sounds fine. Okay, sir. So before I transfer, I just have a small sentence to read. What? Which is just a callback authorization, okay? A small sentence to read? Small sentence, which is just a callback authorization. Okay. Hello? Hello? Go ahead and read the small sentence yeah, at your yeah, convenience, sir. right? Just read yeah. away. 
By speaking to a live representative, you agree to a privacy policy that you have recently obtained and consented electronically to be contacted and authorize us and the insurance service providers to contact you even if you're on a DNC list. Okay, sir? Well, I didn't opt in electronically. And then, too, if I'm on the sorry, do not, sorry. if I'm on the DNC list, uh, you shouldn't be calling me. If I was on the DNC list, then you'd be working for a company that calls people in spite of the fact they're on the DNC list. That doesn't make any sense, Moses. So that is the reason we are waiting in sentence. So if you're on a DNC list, you give us the authorization to call you. If, if I'm on the DNC list, if I'm on the DNC list, you're not supposed to call me. The D DNC stands for do not call. And if, you're, if someone is on the DNC list, the do not call list, you're not supposed to call them and ask them if they're on the DNC list. You're supposed to not call them. Never will understand the logic behind that one. Robert P. Soup Anderson, and here with me are the non-identical twins, Happy and Pee Wee. Hiya, Hiya soup, soup fans, fans everywhere. everywhere. The gentlemen here are going to demonstrate how we split peas for our soup rather than crush them and lose the flavor. Yes. You notice the other intricate machinery, the, the pea soup, the, the pea sorter. And I thought so, that one was a dud. That's right, an automatic, an automatic reject, reject feature, feature of the uh, machine. Uh, like some uh, soup manufacturers, we're not much interested in how many cans we can crank out every minute, but more in how good our soup is. In fact, when my friends say to me, Robert P. Soup Anderson, how come no one else could you canned soups with real delicious homemade flavor? I tell them it's because of an extra ingredient in every can. And that ingredient is time. It's in my delicious split pea, beef burger, cream of chicken, or old-fashioned bean soup. Try some, some today. 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 A week from Tuesday. Hi, this is Steve. How are you doing today? I'm good, Steve. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. So, I am an insurance specialist from Healthcare Services, and I see that you are having Medicare with Part A and Part B. Is that right? You said you're with Healthcare Services? Yeah. You're a specialist. Where? I've never heard of Healthcare Services. Who are you? I, I don't understand. Where are you from? I'm from Florida. Oh, right on. I, so, Healthcare Services yeah, is a company. To Timothy? Yeah, this is a. Well, my, my name used to be Timothy J. Fan, and I've had to change my name because I'm in the Witness Protection Program. Okay. So, as you know, that the year 2023 is going to end. I'm here just to provide you upgraded 2024 benefits, okay. which will cost you $0 oh. because you are having. Medicare with part A and part B, okay, sir? Yeah, you know it. That sounds fine. Go ahead and sign me up, uh, Steve. You don't have to sign anyway, sir. I'm oh. just having six qualification questions. You just uh -huh. have to answer yes or no. You okay? already Only in yes or no. You already said I was qualified. You said I was qualified yeah, for $0 did. upgrades. That's great. I didn't say that, sir, but... Oh, what did you say? I, okay, let me, I, I see you live in Wisconsin, right? Well, I used to live in Wisconsin, but my ex-wife tried to kill me by running me over with the car again, and that's why I got into the Witness Protection Program, because she and so her you attorney... you live in Illinois, right? What? You live in Illinois. I live in Illinois, yes. Yeah, and your zip code is 53... No, right? no, that's the old zip code. You know, my ex-wife, she kept the house in the divorce. She waited until I got done finishing the whole thing, inside and out, and then she tried to run me over with the car, and then, of course, we got divorced. So now I'm okay, in Illinois. Current, current zip code? 60604, Steve. 60604, right? You, you got it. That's right. Great. So, so I'm really sorry to ask that. Are you diagnosed with any kind of renal disease or Parkinson's? Any kind of what? I, I said that I'm really sorry to ask that. Are you diagnosed with any kind of renal disease or Parkinson? Venereal disease or Parkinson? What kind of crazy yeah. questions is that? No, I, I don't have any no. venereal diseases, but thanks for asking. Now, if I had Parkinson's disease, I might not know it because people who have Parkinson's disease don't know they have Parkinson's disease. Yeah, I'm really sorry to ask that, sir, but it's a qualification question. Oh. Unless you don't have that, good to hear that. So, do you have TRICARE or VA? 
ACA benefits? No, no, I don't have any benefits okay. like that at all, Steve. Okay, I see you live in the city of Chicago, right? That's right. And your address is 230 South Dearborn Street, in, right? That's right. Great, so since you have Medicare with Part A and Part B, sir, I'm sure you must have that Medicare card, right? That red, white, and blue oh, card? I got one somewhere. I think it's in my wallet. Okay, great. Just keep that handy with you. And sir, I believe that you make your own decisions regarding to your Medicare, right, sir? Yeah, you know, it's funny that you would ask that because just last week I asked my old lady Trixie about this and she tells me that I make all of my own decisions. Oh, okay. And your, sir, date, your date of birth is 1957-0401, right? Yeah, April 1st, 57. Yeah. Yeah, great. That's all I need, sir. I have my verification officer on the other line who can help you get connected to the license agent from your own zip code to provide you additional Medicare benefits, which may take one minute of your time. Is that fine for you? Well, I guess that's fine, Steve. Yeah, if, yeah. I, yeah, if I'm yeah. qualified so, for all these things for free. Sir. Yes, sir. So before I transfer, let me read a small statement, which is just a callback authorization. A callback authorization? Statement? Yeah. A callback authorization statement. Okay. Yeah, so by speaking to a live representative, we agree to a privacy policy, authorize us and the insurance service providers to contact you even if you're on a DNC list. Okay? Well, that Should doesn't make any point? sense, Steve. Does your company call yeah, people who are on the do not call list? No, that means that while talking to a live representative, that call currently gets hung up, you allow us to call you back at that time, okay? That's not what you said. You said if I was on the do not call list. But, like, does your no, company no, call people time, who are on the do not call list? Pardon? So does your company call people who are on the do not call list? No, no, no. So I'm just taking that TCPA from you. You're taking me what? 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 I was just confirming it for you, sir. Confirming what? While while uh, while you were talking to a while we were talking to a live representative, if the call gets hung up, like for that time only for that period, so you allow us to call you back even if you're on a DNC list, not every day, only for that time. Steve, like 10, five to Steve, 10 Steve, yes? Steve, you're you're not listening to me. You're asking me if I'm on the do not call list, but you called me. Yes. How can you call no, someone yeah. and ask them if they're on the on the do not call list? How can you call no, someone not, and ask them I, if I they're didn't. on the do not call list? No, sir, I, you're not on do not call list. I said well, then that. why would you even if bring they, that up? They, why would okay, you even say that? Them, okay. If you know that I'm not on the do not call list, why would you even say that weird thing? Timothy, I said that. By speaking to a live representative, so I said that by if you are speaking to a licensed agent, then the call gets hang up on that time, only on that time, so you allow us to call you back, only on that time. Even if your number is on do not call list, only on that time, sir, not on every day, only on that time. It, because Steve, why would if the call gets hang up, Steve, that's why, okay? if you're on the do not call list, you're on it all the time, not just for one day. It's a whole, it's all the time thing. No, 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 you don't. We won't call you every day, sir. This would be a last call. You won't call morning, me every day? Call you. Somebody calls no. me every day. Somebody calls me 30 times a day right now and talks to me about this Medicare stuff. Sir, huh? this would be a last call. After this call, nobody will call you. Ha! I find that hard to believe, Steve. Sir, should I transfer the call or not? Just may You can yes transfer no. the call if you want to, Steve, but don't say that it's okay if I'm on the do not call list because you called me already. How could you call so me? Not, How could you call someone and ask them if they're on the do not call list? Do you, do you not understand that doesn't I, make any I sense? Was re, I was reading the TCP and getting oh, your permission. I said that oh, by speaking to a hey, live representative, you hey, agree to a privacy yeah, policy hey, and authorize us and the insurance hmm, service provider to contact hey, you even if you're on a DNC hey, list, okay? I heard what you said, Steve. It just doesn't make any sense. I'm worried that maybe you're working for one of them scam call centers I've heard so much about, and maybe your okay, bosses so are lying okay, to you. Okay, if you think it's a scam, okay, listen, 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 hey. Huh? Listen. What? Okay, if you think what? it's a scam, okay, if you think huh? it's a scam, hang up the phone. I'm not interested in oh, talking with you. Oh, stop it, Steve. Just stop it. Why do you have to act that way? <laughs> oh, again. If you're getting calls from these people that claim to be associated with Medicare, they're scams. If you look on the FTC website, you'll see 
Um, all these calls are scams. These people aren't your friends. Waste as much of their time as you can. And thanks again for tuning in.